This is what perfection looks like, well, at least in the context of raw mobile computing power. It's the new Dell Precision 7770. To be clear up front, Dell did send me this unit to test out and evaluate, but all of the comments and thoughts are my own. Dell did not pay for this review or even really ask for one, but here I am giving a review. To start off, this laptop packs a ton of firepower in the form of a 16-core Intel i9-12950HX, reaching speeds of up to 5 gigahertz, a whopping 128 gigabytes of DDR5-3600 megahertz RAM, the new NVIDIA RTX A 5500 GPU with 16 gigabytes of video memory, and one hell of an incredible 4K 120 hertz screen. My version also came with 4 terabytes of Gen 4 NVMe SSD with the ability to add two more M.2 drives, which I utilized because who doesn't like having more hard drive space? For port options, the new 7770 boasts a crazy amount of I.O. in the form of two Thunderbolt 4 ports, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, two USB-A 3.2s, an HDMI 2.1 port, SD card reader, one gigabit Ethernet port, and a headphone jack. If you're looking for a laptop that's not going to require any dongles, this is definitely your best option and another reason why it's been such a pleasure to use. Jumping over to form factor, this laptop isn't afraid to show its curves. It weighs in at 6.65 pounds, has a 17 inch screen, but what's remarkable about it is that it still fits in the same case as my Precision 5750 as well as my MacBook Air. So while it is larger than most laptops on the market, it's still quite travel friendly and delivers the best performance I've ever seen in a mobile workstation. So let's discuss how it actually works in the real world. I'm a cinematographer and photographer, so I'm constantly using my computers for video editing, rendering, 3D modeling, VFX work, and photography, all of which can require a ton of processing, something that the new processor and GPU can easily handle. One of the most surprising things about the laptop that I've found is that it's as fast, if not faster, than my 18-month-old AMD Threadripper Pro workstation that boasts a 32-core processor, dual RTX 3090s, and 512 gigabytes of RAM. It's so good, in fact, that because of its size, I can literally edit 8K full resolution footage with VFX on the go without having to bring it back to the office. This is something that even for my desktop workstation can be a taxing task to do. Moving over into benchmarks, this is where we begin to see the Precision 7770 really shine. I'll be comparing the results to a fully specced out Dell Precision 5760, as well as a fully specced out Apple MacBook Pro M1 Max. My first test was inside of DaVinci Resolve, checking out render times. Since long op H.265 footage can be incredibly taxing on your system, I thought it was the perfect test to start with. As you can see here, the 7770 sees a huge improvement in render times over the other two laptops by 77% in 4K and nearly 300% for 1080p. There isn't much improvement while rendering out 8K footage, but it does nudge out both the 5760 and MacBook Pro by a second or two. For the 8K red raw footage, we see another huge leap in performance as the 7770 comes in 75% faster for 4K renders over the Precision 5760 and 95% faster than the MacBook Pro. It gets even better for 1080p, showing a 90% increase over the 5760 and a 110% increase over the MacBook Pro. For 8K, the numbers are more modest at a 33% increase over the 5760 and a 46% increase over the MacBook Pro. Rendering out 9K Sony Alpha 1 raw DNG files paints a slightly different picture for the precision as it's beat out by the MacBook Pro by 33%, but it does outperform the 5760 by a whopping 125%. Jumping over to After Effects, I tested it out using a 4K 32-bit particle layer with a glow effect added, and the results again show the 7770 leading the pack by a 100% improvement over the 5760 and an 89% improvement over the MacBook Pro. Inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, the 7770 stands out again, coming in 50% faster in 8K over the 5760 and a crazy 128% over the MacBook Pro. The most revealing is the 7770's exportation at 1080p as it outperforms the 5760 by being 84% faster and the MacBook Pro by being 657% faster. I'm not sure if there was something wrong with our MacBook, but yowzers. In my last benchmark, we encode long op 8K Sony Alpha 1 footage to H.265, and surprisingly enough, the Precision 5760 beat out the 7770 by 3 seconds in 8K, but beating out the MacBook Pro by 28 seconds. In 4K, we can see an incredible 212% decrease over the 5760, and a 150% decrease in render time over the MacBook Pro. Overall, as you can see, the 7770 performs at its peak. Dell definitely didn't hold back when they made this laptop. 
If you're into color grading, it's a great monitor to use. The 17 inch 4K 120 hertz monitor also boasts a color space of 99% DCI-P3 and 100% of sRGB and 500 nits, which is pretty spectacular. The only improvement I could see for the screen is a thousand nit upgrade for HDR, but overall the quality of the system is near perfect. One thing if you're looking to upgrade to a new laptop is to understand that this is meant for high-end processing and production work, whether it's with photo, video, 3D modeling, AI learning, or programming. This laptop is meant to be a workhorse. And because of that, I will say when you are in performance mode, not using efficiency cores, this laptop sounds like a jet engine taking off when you put it under a full load. In the same vein, it's also important to make sure that it has proper airflow because it can get super hot if you're not careful. One of the reasons I love using it though is because it's pretty damn powerful both plugged in and on battery. If you're looking to do high-end performance mode off of AC power, you'll find you'll get anywhere from an hour to almost 90 minutes of pure performance when strictly using the battery. It's not a ton of time, but in the same instance, this laptop is meant to be plugged in to reach its full potential. That being said, if you get the six cell battery option, you can easily take this into the field and work in an efficiency mode with a reduction in performance, but the ability to work off of it for anywhere from three to five hours. In strictly efficiency mode using efficiency cores only, you can potentially see battery life extended anywhere from eight to 10 hours, depending on how much you use it. One hidden feature, and it's not really that hidden because I've already mentioned it, is that the screen has a refresh rate of 120 hertz at 4K, which is pretty crazy as it's the only Dell laptop in their lineup that has it. So if you want to work hard and play hard, you can easily play 4K 120 hertz games like Call of Duty or Battlefield without any issues. I will say though that the GPU does get quite hot, topping out around 85 degrees Celsius, which is pretty toasty, but it performs beautifully and is incredible to have. Overall, my experience with the laptop has been a resoundingly positive experience. I did have an issue with the processor not switching from efficiency cores to performance cores, but that's likely because the unit I received was pre-configured. It was an easy fix in the BIOS, and now it purrs like a kitten. It's honestly quite hard to find any faults in this laptop. The only major difference between this laptop and others like it, like the Precision 5770 or even the 16-inch MacBook Pro, would be that it physically weighs about 1.9 pounds more, and that's really about it. Otherwise, in my opinion, this might be the most perfect laptop ever constructed to date for what it's capable of doing. It's ridiculously powerful. You can manually upgrade the components like the internal NVMe SSDs, RAM, and even the GPU. With all these incredible features though, comes the price tag, which may be a shocker to some, clocking in at an eye-watering $8,200 MSRP for this configuration that I'm currently using. That being said, it's undoubtedly worth every penny for the performance that you get out of it, and I can see myself using this one for at least four to five more years, or until they come up with something that's even more powerful. But at this point, Dell, along with Intel and Nvidia, did one hell of a job putting this laptop together. I couldn't be happier. Now I'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Are workstation laptops still viable in today's world, or is it all about size and mobility now? If you have any questions about the unit or want to know more, just throw them down below in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them. As always, please like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and have an awesome day. Thanks for joining me.